Right, so first of all what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a bit of tension coming off your main line. So this is the line coming from your rod. Uh, the way to do is just stick your rod in a rod holder and then um, tighten off the drag and then when you pull on that line you can ensure that there's a slight bend on your rod and this will um, create some tension on your main line so that all that does it just helps when you are um, when you're forming the braids on this knot to really be able to get them as tight as possible so the way I do it I always have plenty of um, line to work with and then I stand into that line forming a loop with my feet and that ensures that the loop that I um, that I want or the double double leader is going to be long enough because especially if you're um, fishing just with a, a swivel at the end of that you want your loop to be quite long if you're only fishing with a uh, wind on leader then your your loop doesn't need to be that long you can just have a short one but for me I always do long enough loop so that's about a meter and a half uh, loop that I work with so I go in underneath my main line and then over the top over the top and then back under until I have it back in my left hand see and then that forms my first loop right there like that so from here all you want to do is you want to start braiding so this one already went over the top so it's got to go underneath and then as you come to the right hand side the way you tension this knot you want to pull it up and that uh, creates a lot of tension on that knot then you just carry on from the outside over the top pull it up and then over the top towards the middle and pull it up over the top and pull it up and that ensures that you get a really tight braid on this knot right so you want to carry on with this knot until you have about 7.5 centimeters or about three inches and then we get to the next step so one thing i wanted to show you as well with um, braiding the knot and then standing in the loop as you can see the loop always stays open it doesn't get tangled up if i'm doing it this way where i'm not standing in the loop and i'm creating these um, braids I'll just do it quickly then you see it starts tangling up in the end but when I'm standing in it it doesn't tangle up it keeps that loop open and makes it so much easier to work with right so here we have about our um, 7.5 centimeters or 3 inches um, that we've braided and we make sure that our tag end ends up being in the middle again so for finishing this knot there's three ways of finishing it and I'm going to show you all three ways the last way I'm going to show you is my favorite but we'll just run through all of them and then you can decide which one you like best so the first method would be just doubling up doubling over the tag end and then you start braiding again until you have this tag end come back into the middle three times so under over there's one there's two and there's three so once you've got it back into mi the middle for the third time I like to just take it un un in underneath get off my loop and then I just stick the whole loop in back through back through that um, tag ends loop and then all you need to do is pull on the tag end like that and that and that tightens up and finishes up that knot so you don't want to pull it up too tight because if you do this whole lot will just start bundling bundling up if you do pull it up too tight so you only want to go and snug it up and that just secures that from unraveling and coming back out and that will give you 100 percent line strength on that knot so the line will snap before that knot would and on this end you'll have double the strength so if you're using say 60 pound leader that will give you 120 pound strength on that double line 
Okay, so for the second method, once you have finished your 7.5 centimeters or three inches of um, your braid and you have your tag in back in the middle, what you want to do is just starting start to weave, um, not putting tension on the weaves going down for another inch or so until you get to about four inches. So without pulling it up all the time, you just go in and you start weaving it for another, say another inch or until you have your tag in back in the middle for the third time again. Then, let's go one more time. Right, so there I have my tag in back in the middle. Now what you want to do is just go in, in between the two legs like that, turn it around, and then you start weaving this tag end in through those loose weaves and you go up the line all the way till you get to where you've um, done the tight weaves again or tight braids so you just carry on into that loose section until you get to the top right the very last one there and that's also a very tidy way of finishing this spray uh, this um, plate so then you can just cut off the tag end again and you have your double line and your beautiful plate right there okay so for the third method i just carry on making this plate tight as possible until i get to about um, 10 centimeters of length in my uh, knot or uh, four inches and then i just make sure that my tag end is back in the middle again right back in the middle what you want to do again take it in underneath right and pinch it down and this is my favorite method of doing it i just go forming a loop and this is called a finishing knot using a finishing knot or a whipping knot what you do is form a loop and you go through over both of your um your legs of your loop five times three four five times and then you lie this tag in parallel with your knot like that and then start unraveling those turns again one two three four and five times so there you see that is all unraveled and they're lying nice and neatly just up against that plate and then you just pull on your tag end like this right and that that secures it in place so you can tie that up tighten that up real neatly and what this does on this bigger rope it looks a bit bulky but if you're using braid or you're using a mono that will form a nice little ramp there and that will pass through the guys nice and smoothly as well so this finishes up this knot really really good especially when you're using um, mono or braid that will just form a little ramp and that makes it goes go through the guides real smoothly as well and a real tidy way of um, finishing up that um, plate as well so guys please leave me a comment down below tell me which uh, finishing knot or method do you prefer for finishing this knot thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one if you enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up subscribe and click on the bell button then you'll get notified the next time i upload a video and you can watch it now click on that box and i'll see you in the next video